Hi everyone, uh, in this video we're going to be looking at the Poisson distribution. Uh, I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, my French audience will probably know better. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is a distribution that you can take advantage of for maybe an NLP uh, application or a computer vision application. And this is, uh, maybe we can start by giving a simple example. Let's assume that you run a customer service center and on average you receive six phone calls per hour. And let's call that lambda. So let's say for a particular hour you want to compute the probability of receiving five phone calls well what you can do is you can take advantage of the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution the probability mass this um, the probability mass uh, function will spit out the probability of getting five phone calls so PMF is x to the power sorry lambda uh, to the power x multiplied by e to the power negative lambda divided by x factorial and if you plug in this values in you will end up with 0 0.16 which uh, is the probability of receiving five phone calls but this is really just an overview and uh, there's really more to this distribution but our main concern is how can we take advantage of it for nlp so let's start with nlp before we get into uh, computer vision so assume you have uh, you have a data set and you are performing a classification of uh, classifying if a text or a sentence is politics related or sports related so we have two classes here politics and uh, and sports but then in the set in the sentences related to rela related to politics you notice that the word election uh, election on average appears four times in the sentences in the sports related uh, data you notice that the word champions appears three times in each sentence so uh, in this case four is going to be a lambda and three is a lambda so let's assume you are generating two more sentences for politics related data two more sentences what you can do is you can sample from the person distribution say two items and you might end up with something like this. Uh, PyTorch has a function for sampling. And when you sample, you might end up with, when you sample two items, you might end up with something like this. And the word sample here is really technical. And say, technically speaking, the way it is done is uh, something different. I will put in the description on how the sampling is done. So after sampling, after sampling, you got five and six. What you can do is the, in the uh, synthetically generated data set or sentences, you can make sure that the first sentences has five occurrences of the word election and six occurrences of the word uh, election. Uh, this can be much better than much better than say uh, just uh, getting random numbers uh, around four 
and uh, one thing that I also want to mention is that usually the average of the sample uh, date sam sampling is lambda, which is this on up on uh, approximately it is lambda when you take the average. Similarly, here you can do you can make, if you want to get say one one hundred more synthetically generated data for ch for sports, you can uh, sample. 100 more uh, items and you might end up with something like this and many more and when you take the average usually it is lambda so this is actually one of the properties of the <coughs> of the distribution itself okay all right before i get to nlp uh, what i want to mention is the <clears throat> the way of the the person distribution itself for synthetic data alone might not be useful but what you can do is you can incorporate it with other methods so that you can get even uh, more robust uh, data more robust synthetically generated data um, so let's look at a computer vision related example uh, let's call it a rare plant so hope you can see here okay so let's say you have images images of a plant and you also have other images <coughs> Of that particular plant however you are actually just like in NLP you are performing a classification so these images are in class 1 these images are, are in class 2 okay, different classes uh, but you are uh, you want to generate synthetic data for <coughs> for this particular application However, you notice that what you may, maybe what you might notice or what you might check is there's a particular pattern in the images in class one, and that pattern for each image appears uh, ten times, and we're going to call it lambda. It's going to be the rate in the probability <coughs> mass function actually. And okay, one thing that I maybe for I did not mention is the sample values are actually characterized by the by lambda itself so if this lambda was maybe 1000 the sample values will be different okay similarly for class 2 you notice a particular pattern in the images of the of the class of that of that rare plant and that pattern on average appears uh, nine times so we're going to call it lambda and what you can do is you can sample from <clears throat> you can sample and let's say you are generating uh three more synthetic uh images after sampling you might end up with something like this for this you might end up with something like this what you can do is you can generate an image and then maybe use some software or maybe some simulation to make sure that uh, that synthetic image has nine occurrences of that particular pattern and you actually notice that that pattern is actually important for uh, for the classification and maybe the second image you can make sure that it has six occurrences of that pattern similarly for class two maybe the first image has you make sure that it has seven occurrences of that uh, pattern important for the classification uh, to order for the image to be classified as class class two uh, so uh, this is more like an overview but I want to reiterate that this alone might not be very useful but when you can what you can do is you can incorporate this method into other methods for creating external data or different data <coughs> synthetic data 
uh, for your application and you can end up with really a more uh, robust data set. Uh, thank you for watching and let me know what you think. If you have any doubt or maybe any question, let me know in the comments. And I will also include the notebook related to this um, <clears throat> to this video in the description. Uh, thank, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.